Hi Groff, today we're taking a field trip to Hope Street Farmer's Market. Hope Street Farmer's Market is a beautiful farmer's market with lots of vendors. Now here you'll see me walking up to the farmer's market this past Saturday. And there's lots and lots of vendors, which means lots of booths that sell all different things. Now, at the farmer's market, you're probably used to seeing a lot of fruit and vegetables, and that is totally right. They have a plethora of vegetables and fruits to look at. Now, some places you might be used to are the Rhode Island Mushroom Company. Um, I know Fully Rooted is there and they sell beautiful juices. But the farmer's market sells other things too. They sell flowers. Seven Stars is there selling their delicious bread. Um, Red's Hot Sauce is there. And Yacht Club Soda that sells the most delicious soda in the whole world. But the farmer's market does a lot more than just sell fruits and vegetables and delicious things. It also helps people that are in need by giving them coins to be able to purchase things at the farmer's market and feeding their tummies. Now, I hope that you can all visit the Hope Street Farmer's Market. It's right down the street and it is really fun. And there's playgrounds and there's ice cream and food trucks. So I hope you can visit soon. Now, today we are going to be inspired by some of those fruits and vegetables we saw earlier. And we're going to create a collage. Hi, Croft. Since we're learning about the farmer's market and fruits and vegetables... I thought it would be a great week to make an artwork that looks like the artist Arson Boldo's artwork. He made faces out of fruits and vegetables and fish and really strange things. And today I wanted you to work with a friend or two or three and create stuff out of cut out fruits and vegetables. So what you're going to do is you're going to work with a few friends and you're going to use the vegetables and fruit and combine them in different ways to make three types of things. You're going to make a face. You're going to make a monster, a fruit monster, and something of your choice. Maybe you would like to make a corgi or a unicorn or a catacorn. It's completely up to you, but we're not going to be gluing down our collages. We're actually just going to keep reusing them and making fun things. So now I'm going to show you that artist Arson Boldo, and I will let you get to work. Before we start collaging with our friends, I thought it would be great to look at Arson Boldo's artwork. Now Giuseppe Arson Boldo lived a very long time in the 1500s and he made these really unusual for the time portraits of people but they're made out of fruits or vegetables. Sometimes he even made them out of other materials like um, flowers or fish. Now I thought he was a great inspiration to think about when we're collaging our um, fruit into a face or something of your choice. Now, if you have extra time after collaging with your friends, it'd be a great idea to do an extra art. You could possibly take out a piece of paper and draw your own Arson Boldo. Or maybe you could go home after school and teach your parents about it and do some real fruit or vegetable collaging. I hope you have a great Friday, and I will see you soon. Bye, Croft.